Welcome, George Headley here with Hard Hat Biz Coach. Today we're going to talk about how you can't win the construction game without a winning coach. When you think about NFL football, the coaches are the key. They're the ones who call the plays. They're the ones who set the strategy, set up the systems and playbooks so that the team can win. So what are you doing to set up winning strategies? Do you have a mentor, an advisor, a consultant, someone who helps you and shows you the plays that you should be calling? Do you have someone help you with your financial numbers, markups, profits? What about your estimating and bidding strategy? What about your field and project management systems that allow you to make the most money? What are you doing to continually improve that? So eventually you can have your business deliver exactly what you want, which is not working more and making less. So I want you to think about what I need to do, what you need to do to get to the next level. So when I look at contractors, construction companies, and construction company owners, I work with 50 or more every year one-on-one. -on -one. Mainly what I notice in the construction industry, most companies grow and then they get to a plateau. They reach their comfort zone, or what I call the uncomfortable zone, because you're maxed out, you're stressed out, you're overworked, and you're probably underpaid for the amount of time and energy. Your family's life's dwindling. Uh, you're, you're, you're running everything yourself. You're making all the decisions. And how do we get to a higher level? How do we break through? So what we have to do is come up with strategies and solutions. And the best way to do that is get some help. Get somebody who can help you with all these these ways to improve your business and implement systems and strategies. Why do construction companies get stuck or fail, just flat out fail and don't make enough money? Uh, is it lack of money, lack of cash? Well, cash is important. You can't start a construction business and hope to break two or $3 million in sales if you don't have a big chunk of money in the bank so you can make payroll and pay your material and sub subcontractors on a timely manner. You're not gonna get paid every day you do the job. It's, it's a 30, 60, 90 day cycle. So what do you think it is? Is it technology? Is it uh, uh, you're, you don't have strong people? Is it uh, you really don't have any good customers who give you job after job after job? You continually are on the low bid treadmill, bidding, 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 hoping for more work? Are you selling low price? Are you the same as your competitors? Do you really know your numbers, your P&L, your accrual versus cash, your over under billing, your work in progress schedule, your completed contract schedule? Do you know what markup you made when you, when you bid the job versus when you finish the job? Is it coming in the same or do you have some profit shrinkage, profit loss, you're making less than you than you thought you were? Uh, but really, what is the number one, number two reason companies fail? The real reason is the owner controls everything and makes all the decisions. And because of that, the outcome is the owner won't change. They just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. They've shut the valve. The valve of, of money flow is shut off because of their stubbornness or they're unwilling to hire, to trust people, to let go, to delegate, take time to install systems, whatever it is, they won't change. And usually the owner of a construction business is good at something. Probably it's estimating, probably it's customer development, but maybe they shouldn't be managing too many people. That's usually the downfall, but that's just a generalization. Everybody's different. What are you doing you shouldn't be doing? What are you willing to change and improve? Or are you continue, want to continue to be the CEO, chief everything officer, do everything for everybody, try to make everybody happy? I don't want to be the CEO. I want to be the owner of a successful, profitable construction business. So most companies, they start with a, a worker, somebody who's really good, a foreman, an estimator, project manager, and they break out on their own, and they start their own company, and they move up to level two, what I call the self-employed sole practitioner. So you're pretty much in charge of everything yourself. You run all the jobs. And, and then eventually you hire a few people, you hire a few crews, and maybe you've got a crew of six, seven, eight, maybe you get up to 10 or 12, 15, but you're really, really the one who's making things happen. Without you, you don't have a, you don't have a company. You got nothing. You are the company. And so when you are the company, fires keep burning, uh, emergencies, stress, overwork, Lots of issues every day. You've got to be on everywhere. You really don't have any time for planning, 
you don't even have time to hire, even though you know you need people. You know, you, you don't have time to go out and develop customers because you, you don't have time, so you just got to bid. So, so what do we do? We get stuck. The, the owner is the business. Without the owner, there is no business. And you're on an ongoing treadmill hoping to jump off and get better. That's when I get called for help. George, help. What do I need to do to get to the next level? This is what I call the stuck zone. You finally realize you're stuck and you need help. So you call and we get on the we get on the fast track to move your company to the next level. And so the next level is level four, what I call the biz builder. You are building your business. You're putting in systems. You're building your business plan. You're getting your finances in order. You're learning your markup strategies. You're developing great customer re relationship programs and initiatives to build better better jobs, better contracts against less competition. You're starting to grow. You're starting to get better. You're starting to build a, a small management team that's helping you get, get more and more uh, larger jobs and uh, more and more net profit and make things happen. So eventually, your company starts really humming along and you become, number five, a best-in-class business. Best in class continues to work. You know, the reason you're in business is to give the owner and the owners what they want. It delivers results that the owners want, stockholders want. And so your management team runs your business. You've got a business plan in place. You're creating accurate estimates based on, based on accurate job cost tracking. You've got good people. You've got a recruiting program in place. You're winning great projects. And you're hitting your targets and goals. So that's best in class, and that allows you to start investing some of those profits into wealth building opportunities, income producing properties, et cetera. So you can move up to the next level so that you can be a builder, a contractor, a subcontractor, and an investor developer into other avenues that will provide you with ongoing passive income. So eventually your business works. Your business works for you. And that's what we want to do. We want to help you get to that next level and the next level. So, and so it starts with a vision. Where do you want to go? What's your vision for a perfect business? You want to grow. You want better people. You want better customers. You want to make more money. Uh, what do we have to do to make that happen? The purpose for your business is to give the owner and the stockholders exactly what they want. When I invest in IBM, I want to get a dividend and I want my stock price to go up. When I invest in a construction company, I want it to be self-sufficient. I don't have to want to work it every day. I want it to work with or without me. And I want it to spit out a nice profit with good customers. That's what I want to happen. So what do you want? What's your vision? 90% of all contractors never reach their vision. They continue to stay stuck at the same level until they give up or until they retire, or until they die broke. So what do I have to do to break through that roadblock and get off that treadmill? So most contractors reach what I call a growth barrier, like a barrier in the middle of the road. Now, why do you think that is? What do you think the barriers to growth are generally? Well, the number one reason, number one is fear. Fear of making a bad decision, hiring the wrong person, losing money, risking being thought of as, as not that smart, hiring the wrong people, uh, things won't work, you, you, whatever the excuse is. You know, I, I hear a lot of negative attitude out there. Well, you don't understand my market. You don't understand my competitor. You don't understand my business. Yes, I do. I've got hundreds of clients over the years, and I know what what reality is. Reality is you have opportunities. You just, you just aren't trying new ideas to change how you do business. What are you afraid of? You might succeed. Oh man, that'd be scary. Number two, the number two that I see is really big deal: inability to hire, delegate, let go, trust others. We don't invest in hiring the best; we hire the cheapest. We don't hold people accountable. We don't build management team. We just keep hoping things get better, and we tolerate poor performance. We don't hold people accountable. We walk right by people that aren't doing what they should be doing. And it's easier to micromanage than to change. So we just keep doing what we always do. And so the number three reason contractors don't get to the next level is they really don't want to sell. They hate selling. They want to bid and win based on price. Uh, they're not willing to do the hard work to get in front of customers and build relationships. 
when I meet with my peer groups, we have uh, I have three peer groups with about 15 to 20 companies in each one, all commercial contractors. And uh, we, we share best practices and we work together uh, to achieve our goals. And we meet a couple times a year for two or three days. And th the number one thing most of them say is their number one priority is to spend more time developing customer relationships. And I kick them hard to do that. And when we get back at the next peer group meeting, several months later, how's it going? Well, I just didn't have time. So they aren't willing to delegate, hire, let go. So they keep doing what they've always done. And instead of doing what they should be doing to build a very high profit margin business. So they, they don't do what they need to do. And lastly, number four, they don't really have a plan. They don't have targets. They don't have goals. They just, the goal is yes, do it. Try to make more work harder. Hope it happens. They don't have uh, systems goals, organizational chart, line of, uh, line of, uh, line of command, uh, level of authority. Uh, they don't hold regular meetings. They're just running and running and running as fast as they can. And as you all know, I wrote a book called uh, Get Your Construction Business to Always Make a Profit. And you can get it on Amazon. And I, I would highly encourage you, this, this will help you draft a plan for success. If you want to take it to the next level, I have courses online at hardhatbizcoach.com. Just click on the courses and uh, in, in tools, and you'll see what I've got. But I've got a whole plan and lay it out how to do it. If you want me to help you, I'd love to. But uh, there are other ways to try on your own. So when people call me for help, they're in the stuck zone. They're stuck. They're not going where they want to go. The results are less than what they want. They're working too hard for the money they make. And so they call me. And they want help, help, can you help me? And I say, yes. So we sit down, we take we take a half hour to an hour and we talk about their goals, their needs. I, I provide an introductory free coaching session. If you're interested, give me an email and we'll set it up. But uh, we talk about what they want and then and we talk about what it's gonna cost for me to help them. My standard program, we start with six uh, sessions and then we move on from there. I've Some clients have been with me over 10 years. But what normally happens is about fifth, more than 50%, I, we talk about money, they say, yeah, that's great, let's do it. And I send them the, 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 start, the start materials and I never hear from them again. They don't want to invest time, energy, and money to get their company better. They'd rather be stuck in the muck with no luck. So what do we have to do to get you out of the muck? When you're hedging the ditch, doing all the work, you're never gonna get rich. And so in order to move to the next level, you got to be willing to commit. So you commit to an improvement program, whether you hire a coach, whether you get some training, whether you go to some classes, whether you join a peer group, whatever you do, you've got to make a hard line commitment. And it takes time, energy, and money. You don't just snap your fingers and you get fixed. You know, you go to the doctor to get fixed and it's, it's not free, it's expensive. And so think about, you've got to commit to invest time and money hiring someone to help you. Uh, you got to draft your business plan, got to put out all those fires and stop the low profit work. We got to build an org chart and potentially hire some people to help you so you can go do what you should do. Uh, we're going to install some systems and processes. We're going to help you build a management team that runs your company. And we're going to figure out how to focus you and get you to let go and delegate so you can build a great company. And with coaching and with help, your company will grow, but you're going to reach another roadblock because it's hard work, continually changing, continually upgrading. you got to do your job plus improve your company. So it becomes difficult, and some clients at this point fizzle back. They go back to where they used to be. You know, I took, a, took, took golf lessons. Uh, I, actually, I took one yesterday, and my game has gotten worse, and uh, a guy helped me move up. He says, now, if you don't practice – you're going to go back to your old habits. And that's what we do. We get, we improve. And what do we got to do? We got to make a decision to keep going. So if you don't make it, if, if you just kind of get frustrated, you slow down or stop improvement, you revert back to your old ways and avoid the pain of improvement and change. But if you continue on, you will, you'll double your profits. You'll triple your sales. You'll build a great team. You'll have more time and freedom. You'll be able to invest in some properties and, 
and, and start building some passive income. And so what are we going to do to get you to think about what I need to do to improve my business and win the game of construction? If, if we're going to hire me, we're going to start with regular coaching sessions, one and a half hours, and we're going to figure out what you need to fix. We're going to immediately fix what you need to fix, the, the fires that are burning, that are creating stress in your life. Then we're going to figure out if we need to hire. We're going to develop an org chart with job descriptions and who works for who, so the whole company doesn't work for you. And then we're going to draft your vision and your blueprint for success. What do we need to do? One-year, three-year, five-year plan. So if we're going to do a five-year financial plan, let's look at your current, current P&L and figure out what I got to do to turn that profit into double what, what you're currently making. If you're currently making 200 grand, how do we get to 400? How do we get to 600? How, there, there's several ways. We can improve productivity. We can generate more high margin sales. We can um, lower your overhead, which is impossible. And uh, what, what do we have to do? And let's come up with a plan for that. And so we'll have our org chart and our job descriptions clearly. And then we'll implement some systems. I've got hundreds of systems. In fact, I just just uh, published all of my templates. I've got over 100 templates available. You can get them on my on my website as well, hardhatbizcoach.com, and just click on the um, biz tools uh, top up there at the top, one of those buttons, and you'll see what, what they're. I've got four or five different modules, estimating, project management, uh, sales and marketing, um, field, man, uh, field uh, financial management, right on down the line, your blueprint, so think about what you need to do to get to the next level. And so I want to encourage you to think about getting to the next level, winning the construction game by getting someone to help you. If you try to do it alone, it's not going to happen. Very few people can build a great company without any help. The people in my groups that I help, oh my gosh, you can't believe how successful and how happy they are. Now they don't have, they still have problems. Construction's a tough business. So it's, it doesn't get easier. It just gets better. And I want better. And, and time, freedom, money, passive income, a business that works rather than me working for the business. So hopefully I've uh, encouraged you to think about a few things. Uh, need, need some help? Click on my email there, to, right below my head there, and uh, see if I can help you. And I'll, we'll set up an introductory call and see if I can help you. And if I can, I'll tell you and I'll refer you to someone else who might be a better fit for you. So get some coaching, get to the next level, and win more games.